a horrific tragedy, a migrant boat capsized in international waters near Greece, after which more than 500 people are feared to be missing, according to the United Nations Human Rights Office. The incident occurred after an overcrowded boat carrying around 750 refugees sank in international waters, killing 78. Notably, the boat was travelling from Libya's coastal city of Tobruk to Italy but had lost its way. Two survivors who testified claimed that the 750 people on board were being trafficked into Italy and food and water supplies had long run out in the vessel before it overturned. Termed as the worst tragedy ever to happen in the Mediterranean Sea by the European Union Commissioner for Home Affairs, Yiva Johansson, at least 150 Pakistanis who were on board are confirmed to be dead. However, Pakistan's local media has claimed that as many as 300 Pakistani nationals have died. Pakistan Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has declared a national day of mourning and has ordered an immediate crackdown on the smugglers. The tragedy has brought attention to the European Union refugee crisis, in which tens of thousands of refugees attempt hazardous journeys to Europe each year to escape conflict, persecution, climate change and poverty, and in some cases also enable demographic shifts. Significantly, one of the primary entry points to refugee and migrants from the Middle East, Asia and Africa is Greece. The Greek government faced international backlash recently when footage purportedly depicted the forcible removal of migrants who had been abandoned at sea. But this refugee situation in Europe has been creating trouble for the citizens and authorities lately. Many religion-based crimes and issues have been reported in the recent past. The Paris riots during the FIFA World Cup and the recent mass stabbing attack by a refugee in France are just two examples of many such incidents that have occurred throughout Europe in the recent past.